Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Dean. The FDA is calling the approval historic. It is the first type of gene therapy to hit the U.S. market, and health reporter Stephanie Stahl is here with more on today's landmark decision. It all started right here mm -hmm. in Philadelphia. You know, this begins a new era of cancer care. The FDA has approved the first treatment that genetically engineers a patient's own blood cells and basically turns them into an army of assassins that destroy childhood leukemia. It all started with Emily Whitehead, the first pediatric patient at Children's Hospital to be treated with CAR-T gene therapy in 2012 when she was just six. She had relapsed twice with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. It was scary. Really scary. But the treatment worked for Emily and others. Remission rates are now over 80 percent. It becomes the first gene transfer therapy approved by the FDA and will be called Kim Raya, developed by doctors and researchers at CHOP and the University of Pennsylvania. This is already changing the lives of patients with leukemia. The new treatment modifies the patient's own immune T cells, which are collected from the patient, reprogrammed and returned, supercharged to seek and destroy cancer cells. Broadly speaking, 10 years ago, I don't think anybody thought that you could productively use the immune system to fight cancer. Now, I think most doctors would agree that in addition to chemotherapy, radiation and surgery, this is the fourth thing immunotherapy. That's a huge difference. It's been a long haul for Emily and her family. She suffered a variety of setbacks. They keep telling us, you know, that Emily's writing the history books because she was the first child in the world with her immune system trained to beat her leukemia. And now history can potentially be changed for other young patients who relapse. And the therapy is also being tested for thousands of additional patients, a therapy that started with a desperate decision. We were just hoping for anything because this was really her last chance. It was the only thing that we had left. Thank you. Now, Emily is 12 now and feeling good. Novartis, the company that makes this just approved therapy, says it will cost, get this, $475,000 because it is customized for each patient. But there will be no charge if that therapy doesn't work within a month. Mm -hmm. So. It's very expensive. Yeah. It's a one-time treatment, and this has proven now to be a lifesaver. No it's question. incredible. No yeah. question. Wow. Thanks, Thank Stephanie. you, Stephanie.